Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Marine Baptist Church Sunday service. Our word for today is end. Let's begin by standing and singing hymn number 323, Holy, Holy, Holy.
to him all majesty ascribe and crown him Lord of all. To him all majesty ascribe and crown him Lord of all. Oh, that with yonder sacred throng we at his feet may fall. We'll join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. We'll join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. Thank you. At this time I'm going to ask Pam to come and bring a reading from Billy Graham Wisdom for each day. Today's reading is called Heaven or Hell, and the uh, Bible verse is Luke 16, 23, and 24. In hell, where he was in torment, he looked up, called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me, because I am in agony in this fire. Isn't it fashionable today to talk about hell? Oh, it isn't fashionable today about talk about hell, but the Bible is clear. God created us with a soul or a spirit that will live forever. And when we die, we will continue to exist, either in the place the Bible calls heaven or in the place it calls hell. Hell, the Bible said, is re reserved for those who reject God and turn their back on him. If you want nothing to do with him in this life, then you will have nothing to do with him in the next life. And let me be clear as possible, you don't want to go to hell. The Bible speaks of hell as a place of darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hell is a place of absolute loneliness and hopelessness. But the good news is that God doesn't want you to go there. Jesus paid the price for your sins. He took upon himself the death and hell we deserve through his death on the cross. Trust Jesus as your Lord and Savior and then thank him and you will spend all eternity with him in heaven. Our starting, oh no, <laughs> Brenda's not here again, and uh, I'm going to sing one verse of a song, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be our starting point Bible verse for today is Matthew 24, 36. Jesus said, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Let's pray. Dear God, we know that people are lost and need Jesus as their Savior. We pray that you will cause us to be a positive influence in their lives so that they will come to understand how to be the people that you want them to be. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. God's people have known about the day of the Lord for thousands of years. Genesis 6, 3, this is God speaking to Noah. The Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. For yet his days shall be a hundred twenty years. And I wanted to highlight two words in this. Man is flesh at least at the time of Noah. 
Our starting point Bible verse on October 16, 2022 in our Marine Baptist Church Sunday service, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Jesus said, but of that day and hour, no, no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. I want to highlight two verses, two words in that verse. Day and hour. No man knows the day or the hour, but they continue to ask. Not that it will make a difference. Jesus understood in sincerity. Matthew 16, 1 through 4, we read, The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting him, desired that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. I want to highlight. It's characteristic of the flesh generation. We learned that Jesus is the seed of a new generation on September 4th, 2022. You can go back and, and view the service on Marine Baptist Church Sunday service. Jesus spoke here of the sign of Jonah. The sign of the prophet, Jesus said, Jonas. That's Greek. Aramaic is the language they spoke in that day. But it, he was referring to the Old Testament story in the book of Jonah, and his name was Jonah in Hebrew. A sign? We don't really have it that we can go and, and say, well, okay, that's a sign. So we speculate. We've got the knowledge of, okay, we need the understanding. And this is what I think people have generally come up with. Jonah was in the whale for three days. That would have been certain death. Jesus was in the grave. That was a sign. Were they asking Jesus to prove that he was the Messiah? They wanted a sign. His resurrection would be a sign which they would reject. Remember Noah? God closed the door. He gave them information but he decided when. That keeps people from playing him. Psalms 32, 6. For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found, which is now. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. When it gets really bad, and then they start praying, he, he's going to tell them no. It looks like the human race has one of these in our future. One day God will call it, and this was a picture we showed a few weeks back. And, and I, I'm going to, okay, now I'm going to yell here just a little bit. So it, it, Pam's got her ear, ears covered. All right, it's, it's not time, it's time. 
Revelation 10.6 tells us, okay, that's another way of saying in. Jesus told his disciples all about it. We find one of the accounts in Matthew 24, another in Luke 17, verses 20 through 37. Since our starting point Bible verse is in Matthew 24, let's look there where we will find what Jesus taught about the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Matthew 24, the first two verses, tells us, they, Jesus and his disciples, were in the temple, but they went across the valley to the Mount of Olives. Matthew 24, 3, and as he, Jesus, sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of Jesus of thy coming and of the end of the world? The end of the world and the Jesus coming. They wanted to know about the day of the Lord. This is a page of the verses in the Bible that talk about the day of the Lord, or day of the Lord. And the Jews had information about the day of the Lord. In the Old Testament, they had 24 verses. Now, we also have five more since they wrote the New Testament. Five more verses in the New Testament. I put this here so that anybody out in Facebook land can get it and print this off and see it. But I've also put them out under the file section. I've got it in a text document. But it's the verses that, that talk about day of the Lord. We still don't know 2,000 years ago, or 2,000 years later, when it will happen. But Jesus has given us more information and an order of events in the book of Revelation in the New Testament. This is a picture of all the chapters and verses in the book of Revelation in the New Testament. 22 chapters. The number of verses are under the chapter. And I've got this out there and, and someone can go and print it off. Now I've got it on one page here, but if you, if you it's like 4,000 wide and 4,000 high. It, it, it's, you know, you can, you can read this and we're gonna see that in a minute. The end starts here. Revelation 10, 6. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and, on, and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. Next line, I've got it underlined. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel. Okay, here, I, I, I wanted to see how they translated no more time. I used to think it was going to be the end of time. But I, now I believe, uh, and, and I've got it underlined here, all these, these translators... This is in BibleHub.com, and, and you see, there will be no more delay. And, and there were several of them that, that thought that's what it meant. And then what we sing, what was the song I sang this morning? 
when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. No more time. I accidentally left this page and I, I, I build these out, out on uh, windows and, and I accidentally left this in, in there. It didn't have anything on it and, and I, I was going to take it out. But then I thought, you know what? It, it's, it's okay, it's accidentally there. It wasn't planned for. And I, I thought, it's kind of like a thief in the night. There was a, there's a movie about that that's out there. And, okay, in the New Testament, of those five verses, two places in Thessalonians and in 2 Peter, two different men, Paul and Peter, talk about the day of the Lord will be as a thief in the night. All of a sudden, you've been robbed. All of a sudden, Jesus calls, God says, it's over, it's end, stop. In the final minutes of today's service, let's take a closer look at the day of the Lord, the verses that we see here. Mm -hmm. The first one I circle, now I'm not going to look at all of them, but they're out there also in the fall section of you know, Marine Baptist Church Sunday service. And, but here I circled the, the phrase, the day of the Lord shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. I understand that is too proud to bow their head and tell God they're sorry and ask his forgiveness and trust in his sacrifice, who is Jesus, our Savior. The next phrase I circled, the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Next verse I circled, recompenses. And we've talked about the word recompenses, recompense, recom with an S and a C. Generally, it means payback. And you, you know the verse Jesus talks, uh, God talks about, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Everything that the evil ones have done to his sheep are going to be recompensed. But specifically for the controversy of Zion. Now my first thought was that that is Jerusalem all that the world does to Jerusalem. But there's also the crucifixion of Jesus our Savior. Okay. Payback. I circled and it's uh, Joel 3, 14. Uh, it multiplied. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord near in the valley of decision. Zephaniah 7 or 1 7. Hold thy presence, hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice, Jesus. He hath bid his guests. Zephaniah 2 3 tells us Seek ye the Lord, all ye make of the earth which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And the, all of these verses have a New Testament and Revelation connection. And, and I, uh, when, when God 
does what he does in the rapture, it looks like they're, they're moved out and into the desert. And um, I think that's the head, is the rapture. God has made a way for us to escape. And you can accept Jesus as your sacrifice for your sins and be forgiven right now. Wherever you are, um, TV land, Facebook, YouTube, where however you hear this, as, as you're hearing this, right now you can bow your head and pray, Dear God, I have sinned and I am sorry. I believe that you sent Jesus to save me from my sins. Yes. I want to accept Jesus as my Savior and I want to be forgiven. I ask that you forgive me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. And that's all it takes. Yes. Tell him you're sorry. Tell him you believe in Jesus and he'll forgive you. Doesn't matter what you've done. Let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to be in your church and for our wonderful Christian brothers and sisters. We pray that you will light our paths, direct our steps, and maximize our footprints in our jobs, communities, schools, homes, and wherever we go. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. Do you know?